We're celebrating St. Clair. And, well, as you know, as you heard in the Collect Prayer, twice uh, the virtue of poverty is mentioned. And so I decided to talk about, preach about poverty. And I found beautiful sources from our friend St. Jose Maria Escriva about this virtue. Those who do not love and practice this virtue of poverty do not have the Spirit of Christ. This is really important. This holds true for absolutely everyone. For the hermit that decides to live in a cave with nothing, almost, in the desert. And also for the ordinary Catholic who lives in the world, whether you know, he enjoys the use of the world's resources or, or not. We have to learn to live poverty. Poverty is, is not, I'll start with what it's not, it's not a state of miserable want. That is not the virtue of poverty. It has nothing to do with dirtiness either. You know, like I'm not going to take a bath, I'm not going to wash my clothes, I, you know. It's, it doesn't have to do with dirtiness as either. Because to begin with, what makes a Catholic is not so much the external conditions of his existence, but really an attitude of his heart. Poverty, though, is not simply renunciation. Poverty is not just saying no. It requires a very deep interior life, a rich, we can even use the contrast word, right? It, it requires a rich interior life, which helps us to really assess all of our circumstances uh, in which uh, the Lord is inviting us to go. Poverty consists, in a large measure, in, in sacrifice. Without sacrifice, we cannot live poverty. It means to find out what is superfluous and get rid of that. It's to find out that interior voice that is telling us to stay away from selfishness or an obsessed love of comfort. But on the other hand, comfort has a positive side, which is not luxury either. It's not just to seek pleasure, but it consists to, to make a living, to have a house that is comfortable for your family and for others to open it for hospitality. And so that even, you know, the campus here in the parish, so that we can serve God better. You know, I mean, I think one of the actions of, you know, some of the ministries who go, you know, and clean houses for the poor, it's not like, okay, well, they're living poverty, so let's leave them as they are. But no, we want to make their life better, their house to smell better, to look more beautiful. Again, because it's not that we are seeking comfort, but it's seeking a place in which we can show forth the dignity of human life. Poverty lies in being truly detached from all these earthly things and cheerfully accepting discomfort if they arise, right? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with seeking discomfort, but I think we can all agree that crosses will come our way. Discomfort will come our way, you know? Uh, 
I usually say this example for children, but I think it's true for adults. You know, when somebody serves you something you don't like, that's simple as that. What do you do? It takes, it, it is hard to eat it. But when discomfort arises, well, then you, you can act in a spirit of poverty and join yourself with those who don't have anything to eat. I mean, it can even be an attitude, a disposition of the heart to offer that, to add love into that sacrifice. St. Jose Maria Escrivá talks about uh, that the, the, be the best example of poverty is that of a mother. Every mother knows well what it means to sacrifice herself for her children, he says. It is not a matter of giving them a few hours of her time, but of spending her whole life in their benefit. We must live thinking of others and using things in such a way that there will be something to offer to others. All these are dimensions of poverty which guarantee an effective detachment. So he says the best examples of poverty are those mothers and fathers of large and poor families who spend their lives for their children and who with their effort and constancy, often without complaining of their needs, bring up their family, creating a cheerful home in which everyone learns to love, to serve, and to work. Now, brothers and sisters, in closing, poverty is not mere renunciation. It is not even detachment itself. It is a way of life. It is a way of life in which we are continuously giving ourselves. We are emptying ourselves. We're becoming poor as we give of ourselves, as we become self-gift giving all to the Lord and to our neighbor in love.